just arrived in a giant stadium. Oh god. The bus broke down. Where is it? Justin Tuck. Justin Tuck for the Giants. Right there. That's pretty big. Oh man. I just called Jeremy, it's Justin Tuck. Can you believe it? It's not Justin Tuck. Yeah, it is. It's, Jake, it's Brandon Jacobs. It's Brandon Jacobs. Yeah. Alright, that's Brandon, it's Brandon Jacobs up there, running back. The Giants. He's enormous. Brandon Jacobs. <laughs> <laughs> Foster Foster Bowman. Bowman. Tommy, Tommy Whoa. Davis, is that you? Yes, yeah. Hey, here. Tommy, I have some questions about. Sure. How does it feel to be on the bus after meeting Brandon Jacobs it's in a, the flesh? It was a very great experience to start this trip. <laughs> what do you through the that's rain? That's the kind of trip that needs everything. Like, is. That's kind of love. Me and Brandon Jacobs. How do you, I mean, how do you think? Ravens. How do you think yeah. it would be yeah. to be a DB of your size? Having to step up and tackle that man. I mean, if I, I really tried, I probably could <laughs> never do it. He's a if I try, if I really tried, I would escape with minor injuries. <laughs> yeah. If I, I couldn't even run away from him. Oh, Ooh, what's up, Jay? What's up? He buy one specifically for like yeah, for him. Wow, he really likes that idea. Frequently before games, Paul gets his juice up with his jujitsu moves. <laughs> jujitsu black belt. That's awesome. That's why you have quick hands. He's like, oh, your hands. That must really help. He's a cluster. He's a We're at Rich's uncle's restaurant, Gianna's. Get some dinner for the game. What goes with that, guys, is the great feeling that you just, or you're feeling right now, I'm sure, from your accomplishment and what you did out here today. <coughs> there wasn't one, other than the people in this room, other than the people in those stands in the black and orange, all right? Not many out there that believed that this was gonna happen today. And you just kept going. Nobody panicked, they got some goals. Nobody panicked when we made a couple mistakes on offense. You just kept going. There was all. <laughs> I just want to make a quick comment on, on uh, Connor McKinney, the, the young man who uh, you know, we dedicated this game to today, a young man who has a burns over 85% of his body in an ac home accident in December. We wore our Bear Down stickers, which kind of plays lacrosse in Charlotte, and uh, it's just a wonderful story. We've been trying to, we've been writing to him, our guys have been writing to him back and forth, and uh, to, you know, the courage we gained today came from his inspiration. Questions? Coach, when was the last time you had a goalie play a game this big? I don't want to get his head big. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Tyler played a great game. We, we've been very blessed here, you know, with, with goal. Uh, I think it's pretty easy to get excited for these types of games. Uh, I mean, you still got to win every other game also. 
Um, but it's a great atmosphere right now. It's pretty hard to stay calm and when everyone, 20,000 people are screaming at you. Uh, especially today, the wind, the, we can't really hear each other. So I know we have a lot of great senior leadership that keeps us calm, relaxed. And uh, I don't know, the defense just kind of stood together. Uh, we have pride for what we stand for as a team and as a defense. And we played really well today. So. Uh, Tigers 12 8 victory over the previously number two Syracuse Orange. Mark, can you tell us a little bit about how your game went today? Yeah, it was great. Uh,